Hello everyone and welcome back to some more airships conquer the skies. We immediately begin by researching metallurgy, which gives us the Imperial Cannon and medium steel armor, which is going to come in very useful, no doubt. That means we can not quite research any of these technologies yet. I would like to get heavy cannons this episode. We could also maybe do with other things though. Uh, the little ships that we've been encountering are the Harpooners over here, so we could research that if we want to go the uh, carrier route. We can then get triplanes later down the line. And biplanes and bombers, actually. Aside from rockets, torpedoes, flamethrowers, turreted cannons, heavy turrets, we can get mech walkers, mech spiders. There's a lot of fun things in here. A lot of fun things. I'm probably going to go... Maybe wooden armor. Although I also kind of want to get to the... Like... Dust stuff to see if we can get some more lift. Speaking of lift, we'll probably have to redesign the ziggurat again. I did some work on it off screen, but we're going to run with the modified version that we came up with at the end of last episode. And we'll go for the high pressure suspendium dust tanks. Why not? We haven't built a new ziggurat yet, okay. We'll do that first then. As you can see, I've gone for a version 2 here. It doesn't have a balloon. Instead, it has another suspendium chamber. And it only has one engine, so it's not quite as fast, I think. This one does 92 kilometers per hour. Has a 333 meter, meter service ceiling, so you know, it goes up pretty high. This one doesn't go quite as high, but it's basically got the same speed. But it's got less crew and things. I think it'll work better, but it also looks a bit weirder. I kind of like the balloon, I'll be honest. But since it's cheaper, like 150 bucks cheaper, I think we'll have to build that ziggurat instead. They just conquered that place, that's interesting. We'll go build ziggurat version 2. Let's just call it a ziggurat. We'll wait until that's built. I want to take over Sedin today. Because it's got the huge shipyard. But we're going to have to go up against like 20 harpooners. And that's not going to be fun. Not for us anyway. I'm sure it'll be fun for the enemy. We still have the imposition as well. I have made a copy of that so that we can build it if we so desire. Because that's a cool ship. I like it. It's a randomly assigned starting ship. And, uh, you know, your luck depends a little with what you can get. Now, there's a fog bank, but we shouldn't really have to worry about that. They destroy the enemy defenses, and they're, they're pretty much it. We've got a couple rifles, maybe a musket or two. Should be an easy win. In position. Would you like to get into position? Cigarette, just back up a little bit. They're immediately going down, which is interesting. Take the imposition and flip it. Ziggurat's gonna go and move back now. They're not throwing bombs yet, which is interesting. We'll set them to aim. That way they'll be more accurate. You're gonna do a flyby. Get some bombs falling on them. Ziggurat, let's get you down here, because we'll... They're going down, which is an interesting tactic. Get the imposition back over there. Ziggurat can go down a little bit more. So a slightly better position up here. Oh, they seem to have found their air legs again. You know, sea legs aren't a thing here. I mean, they probably are, but not in our current context, anyway. Yes, they're trying to run, which is very interesting. Not gonna get them very far, but I applaud them for trying. Let's get up there. There we go, we have started a fire. We're still dropping bombs on them as well. They're kind of being really annoying, actually. We're at the edge of the map now, they want to far to run. You've got a thing going on. You don't have a right, you're running out of coal. So we're burning coal to keep the suspendium going. But... 
The Inquisition is running out of coal. We're going to have to beat her. Well, not necessarily beat, but you know what I mean. Actually, I've got a better idea. I don't recommend trying this. But uh, you can ground yourself on top of the enemy. Maybe we to ground the ship now. Yes, indeed. You're going to go rapid fire because we're this close to them. And we're literally dropping bombs on their heads. From like five feet above. There we go. We have destroyed their Renfield. Beautiful. We're going to do a brutal takeover. And we're going to go and... As soon as we have taken over Pramk over here, we're going to go and design ourselves a bit of defences. Because frankly, we need something to be able to hold them off. And the tiny cheap thing just wouldn't do it. If we look somewhere, I'm pretty sure I made a copy of it, but yeah, there we go. The Radiant Fortress costs 159 this is the little standard defensive bunker that we were given at the start of the game we'll go and build it as soon as it's done I want to refit it uh, do, we, do we want to move any of you back to the capital just to see if you can get repaired probably the kip is partly recovered from the war so we get a bit more income over there which is nice our research is done we've got the uh, suspendium dust tanks now we can get large suspendium chambers. Let's get some of those. I'm tempted to increase our research budget a bit further. It's going to cost us an extra 40, but we will be an empire of science. And that sounds really good. You're going to go invade Deep Castle. Pramk has the Radiant Fortress now. I'm probably going to refit you in a way that we're going to take away the fire point. There we go. You're not going to need that. You're not going to need that musket either. I would like a weapon. This is the Imperial Cannon. It's big. It's really big. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six something tiles, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's five indoors and then we've got two of the cannons sticking out. That's big. It does 400 piercing damage per shot. We'll destroy most smaller modules in a single hit. We're not going to place that on here. You might be wondering why. No, <laughs> you wouldn't be wrong. That thing's ridiculous. And I want to use it at some point, but now is not the time. This is a cheap defensive building. We are going to go place a tiny... Well, I say a tiny cannon here. It's a pretty respectable cannon. We're going to go, and then, instead of having a fire point, we're going to go put down some fire extinguishers. And to top it off, I'm going to go to troops, and we're going to add a guard post. To defend against boarding. Because that seems like a really smart idea right now. That basically means that anyone that tries to board our ships will have to fight this guard. Which is going to be helpful. There we go. Reading Fortress with Cannon! Very original! But it's also very appropriate. That's going to increase the firepower of our defenses a little bit. It's still meant to be a cheap thing. And then we'll refit it. There we go. Marvelous. Currently making 66, which is pretty good. Ooh, got some green dragons over there. That's probably not very good. Right, this was the town that we lost earlier. We've got a little tiny defensive hut over there. Map conditions are dawn, so... We're gonna go fly up there. Pathing is a bit weird. You tend to bump into islands sometimes, so I try to be careful. But they surrendered, so no need to worry about that. We're gonna go do a gentle takeover. And since the defenses are pretty much intact, we should be fine. Now let's have a look over here. They still haven't built anything new, which is interesting. I'm probably going to want to build a second Ziggurat V2. 
to give us a bit more cannon firepower so we can snipe them from range with our extra accurate cannons before doing anything silly. I'm going to send the imposition to invade Lightjar over here. And it's got some radiant fortresses, so those have muskets. We have bombs. And it's snowing. Fires occasionally go out on their own. That should be fine. The real thing here is going to have to be our limited ammo, actually. Which is why I'm happy that we're currently in aimed mode. We're going to be flying a little bit lower than I would like. Because we need to hit these shots. Every single one of them. They're made out of steel walls, which is, you know, not the worst. But we've already nearly gone through half our ammunition. Okay, there we go. That was pretty lucky, I think. We managed to detonate their ammo. So, we're looking for a possible win here now. Instead of what I was afraid of and running out of ammunition, which would have been bad. We are taking a little bit of damage, but... They have muskets, we have steel walls. It doesn't make sense, but we work with it. There we go. We disarmed the iron fort and we destroyed the black citadel. Hopefully that means we can salvage one of them. Brutal takeover so that we can be in control quickly and take a look at their defenses. Our own defenses, which have been given to us by default, also always differ every game, but we've been given... Something with a lot of muskets, I think. We can have a look by refitting it. Okay, so it's got four rifles and a crow's nest. A spotter can improve their aim. Those are not very good. The rifles especially do nothing. Ag against, like, large... Oh. Right, so we had the iron fort. It was still there. But... Because our secret police isn't, like maximum setting, because we've conquered a few places, a foreign agent has destroyed the Iron Fort, which is basically them paying to destroy our thing, like we did earlier over at Sudin. It's a bit annoying how you basically have to be on, like, max secret police all the time. But honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, we're gonna have to bomb their ship out of the sky again. Shouldn't be too hard. We only have one ship to control now. It seems like they have a lot of command crew. So they can give a lot of orders quickly and adjust to like our movement. So this is going to be a real petty case of just them flying away and us trying to desperately chase them. A bit tedious, but oh well. It will guarantee us victory and that is all that matters. They can't really do anything here, which is the wonderful part. There we go. Go down now so that we can maintain our accuracy. They're gonna dig a hole in the countryside. We're gonna dig a hole in their armor. I think we caught their ammunition on fire, but they were able to put it out just in time. Oh well. The bombs. That'll solve the issue. Boom. Easy. Unfortunately, that means we don't have a fort here now. So we'll build... Uh... Oh, that's 200 instead of... Uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. We'll build one of those. Yes, I like my stuff to be defended. Ekip, how are we doing? Defenses. Uh, we'll give you another building as well. Defenses are useful. Don't neglect them. They cost a bit of maintenance and upkeep, but honestly, worth it. If you have no defenses, your provinces can rebel and move away, and that's really bad. You don't want your provinces to go away, generally. There's our large suspendium chambers. Let's get ourselves some telescopes so that we can get the heavy cannons. I had a fun idea for a ship that I want to design. Let's invade Sedin. I don't imagine us being able to win, but I imagine us... Apologies about that. 
I used a I used a hotkey to group up my units, and apparently that set off OBS because I had a couple of buttons that were apparently number keys. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can take out one or two of their fortresses without losing a ziggurat. If we can do that, then I think we'll be okay. We'll set you both to aimed. We'll go down a bit. That's a lot of ships, though. I'll tell you to target that one specifically. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to fly away. We're going to try to use our muskets to take out their ships. While also firing on this. And as soon as we've destroyed this, we're basically going to say, Hey, we're going to go. We're going to disengage. You win. But I don't want those harpooners to do a lot of damage to us. If I can avoid it. They're pretty annoying, and we don't have to correct stuff to deal with them yet. Yeah, they're doing a lot of damage. We're gonna flee now, before we take too much losses. I'm being a bit overly careful here, but that's because they're really annoying. More than anything, and we don't have the weapons to counter them at the moment. Took a tiny bit of damage. I think we lost the upper musket. So we'll quickly repair that. Police is now severe, which is nice. We're going to leave our southern neighbors alone for now. We'll keep the imposition around here to, like, respond to any attacks. And we'll see if we can try again. We could potentially save up and destroy one of them with sabotage, although I don't really like using that too much. It's kind of OP, especially when they're like, hey, we don't need a secret police, right? It's a bit silly. It's a bit silly. Uh, I guess we'll try again. See if we get lucky or something. This time, I'm not going to do the silly. I'm not going to group my units up. It is a totally valid thing you can do. Let's see, will that work any better? I mean, we're still within range of them, technically. So you both to go aim. I wonder if they can even reach us. Like the harpooners, because we have a rather high surface ceiling. Yep, they're definitely shooting, okay. That tiny swarm is super annoying. They have so many of them as well. Get some lovely new windows there, Captain. Yeah, just look how many of them there are, wow. Such a tiny little menace. You're on fire, that's not good. Let's see if we can fly away from them. Then. Because we're not doing a lot to the uh, defensive buildings. I don't think our tactic's really working. Like, we're not in range of the harpooners as much now, which is nice. Let's see if we can rapid fire. I'm gonna go. Now nah, we're gonna fail. Ah, we lost a ziggurat. Oh, you bastards. I thought we got away with that, but nope. Okay. Alright. This calls for. Uh... Oh, that's the wrong button. This calls for different measures. Because frankly, I'm getting a little sick of this, and I want that huge shipyard. We're gonna research heavy cannons. We're gonna start. Blowing your stuff up. There we go. And in fact, we'll even go so far as to take the... Ziggurat V2. And what we're going to do is we're going to bolt some more muskets on there. Actually, tell me the musket. Reload time's two seconds. The rifle only takes one second. We'll shoot planes and troops within 57 meters. So, the musket and the rifle can fire on borders and the little ships. That's kind of the range in which they fire. I'm tempted to put a rifle on here. Instead of a musket. They don't do as much piercing damage, but they fire twice as fast. Their arc is larger and their range is higher. So while I don't normally like rifles, I think it might be a good idea to bring a couple We'll even add a few more. There we go. 
And because we can, command and crew should have a crow's nest. That's going to increase our accuracy, although that person is a little bit exposed. I'm going to put in a berth over here so that we have more than the recommended crew. I'm going to save that design as a Ziggurat V2. There we go. And we're going to go, and we're going to refit you. Takes us 83. Refit, please. Thank you. We're now earning 140 because we toned down the research, which is a shame. I do like my research, but I also do like taking over Sedin, finally. They have 85 income, so surely it will be worth it. One more tick. There we go. I really don't like doing that. So from here on out, we're just going to build another ziggurat and see if that does it. We're being attacked. That's annoying. They have... Rifles, muskets, exposed tanks. That's going to be fun. Uh, it's currently night, so we're going to be less accurate. They have nice lights. I'll give them that. Please. Use explosives to show them why explosive air tanks are a bad idea. Who'd have thought? You know, it's not like we learned this lesson the hard way ourselves. Not at all. I don't know what you mean. Pies and slander. Oh, if you could not bump into them, that would be great. The explosions and the bombs and stuff do have blast damage. So you don't want to get too close. As we found out ourselves, those tanks also have a big radius in which they explode. So let's not let's not have any of that. That that seems like a bad idea. There we go. Will you surrender yet? They're already grounded, so they're not getting out of here. And even if the imposition might run out of fuel now. The uh, Radiant Fortress with Cannon won't. And by fuel, I mean ammo, of course. There we go, that's you gone. Your wooden ships stand no chance. Beautiful. Uh, Ziggurat, you can move back. A crazed inventor has set up shop here. A robotic creations roam the countryside, menacing the townsfolk, taking what they wish. Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. There we go, we can now build a Ziggurat V2. Just name it a Ziggurat. And we'll be able to waltz into Sedin, finally. You know what? We're even gonna bring the Imposition. We're going all out now. Unfortunately, it seems that our our neighbors have so slowly started like consolidating. These guys have three capital cities. These guys have four. They're aiming for five, maybe six. And these guys have also started to swell quite dramatically. So what generally happens is you have a few that have better designs than the others. You know, each each nation randomly gets generated. They have random designs. So we're going to be facing some tough opponents in the near future. We'll move you like that. I'll move you here for now. Because I want you to move above them. And preferably not get the attention of the Dragoons. Although, you know. There's only one way to find out who they will be going for. I'd like it to be the guys with the actual rifles. But this way we'll also be able to take out some of their buildings. There we go, our rifles are already doing a nice job. Oh, I've selected all the ships at once, that doesn't seem helpful. Yeah, let's pull the imposition back, it's currently being focused by the uh, harpooners. It did a really good job on the building though. Like, that building's pretty much gone, no matter what. If we move you guys a bit up, you might be able to take their fire. You don't have any repair stuff on board, which is a little bit annoying, but, you know, you're a small ship. You are forgiven. 
There we go. Because of the arc of the rifles and the amount that we have, we are able to take out a decent amount of their ships. So we are actually doing something. Although they're currently not having any targets, which is fine. We'll fix that. There we go. We are taking them out. Finally, we've managed to counter them. Victory will be ours. Yeah, they have like five left. Three of them are going back for repairs. The other two are desperately trying to attack. The imposition just lost its bridge, but it is well positioned. And now it's falling apart. You know, that's not precisely what I had planned for it, but there we go. That's what we have now. Nothing. It's dead. It's very dead. Actually, focus fire on that one. Please. Thank you. There we go. Their towers fall. Their tiny ships don't stand a chance. I'm going to take a rapid fire. There we go. There's one Dragoon left. He's currently repairing. Ammo situation is doing well. We're going to speed up. This is formality now. I say that, but we probably lost that Tigger at. And that's kind of annoying. God. Inside view. Yeah, we don't have any spending uh, chambers anymore. You're also out of coal. So that must have exploded then. That's kind of annoying. But we are still within close range. We should be able to at least win, finally. Lovely. You're sitting on high speed now. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Wow. Okay, that's my entire fleet gone. I need to take that under control quickly or we're going to lose it. It might just poof away and we won't have anything. <sighs> that was rough. That was really rough. Alright, build me a ship. Build me a ziggurat. It's a huge shipyard, so it's going to build stuff real fast, which is nice. And then I think we'll start designing a new ship. Because I have an idea, and I want to see if it works. We are now neighboring that scary country. Keep the ziggurat there. Have a look at defenses. We can repair these. And I think I will. They're an absolute pain in the butt. Alright, let's finish this up. Let's finish this episode off by designing a ship. Unhealthy. That's not going to be the name. Because what I'm planning is awesome. Not Imperial Cannon awesome, but it's still going to be awesome. So let's start with the rear. I want to have propulsion. Large prop needs the back to be clear, which is a bit annoying. I think I'll go with normal props. Weighs 80. Generates 80 propulsion. Requires coal every 30 seconds. You, you provide like triple propulsion for nearly double the coal. So I kind of want to go with this, although what this basically means is that no matter how far you go, this block will need the top to be clear. So I can't build them like this unless I stack them like this. Which is a bit annoying. But we'll make it work. Also means I can't prettify it. Uh, yeah, I can't prettify it up. So I think I'll just stick with the normal propellers, actually. Because I have a plan. Start with something like this. It's going to require a lot of coal. Really? That's... Okay. I mean, do we really need that much coal? I think we will, yeah. We will need a lot of suspendium as well to keep in the air. I have a lot of plans. I am sure you will like them. I might actually 
space it out just one block further. Because then we can have a corridor with ladder here, which means we cannot have corridor with ladder here and instead have a fire extinguisher. Or two. And some bunks. Alternatively, we could have a guard post or two. Well, that that kind of works, but not not really what I was going for. So we'll we'll save that. Where's the bunks? Commanding crew berth. There we go. We can now basically use this to get up and down. We've got fire extinguishers here as well. That's going to take care of that. That's going to be great. I'm going to have the middle of the ship be like six long, I think. Pretty sure that'll work with what I have in mind. And then... Um, yeah. I'm probably going to have a machine shop or two, in fact. Now, machine shops carry a lot of spare parts. A lot of repair supplies. That means we can start repairing armor and things like that. So it's going to make the ship a lot more survivable. Requires four crew normally. I think it'll work well. We'll have a repair bay at the back. A machine shop, rather. And we'll probably have some quarters here. I don't want to have a bridge here. We'll probably have more berths in the, like, hallway here. Because right now we've got a couple paths through the ship, which is going to be good. That way we can keep doing things the way we like it. Freely. Uh, I'm looking for birds. There we go. I have big plans. As you can tell by the uh, amount of crew that I'm trying to implement here. I'm also trying to make sure that all our corridors with ladders and stuff have uses. Because there's no real point in having an empty corridor where you can have stuff in there, you know. Now this is... Four, five, six... Yeah, I'm planning on like six or seven wide. So... Let's go to weapons real quick. Ignore troops. I want to have cannons. Lots of cannons. There we go. Something like that. It's gonna be really silly. I imagined it bigger to be honest, but the cost is gonna be so ridiculous and the crew requirement is gonna be insane as well, so... This is probably what we're gonna have to make do with. We'll put the ammo room here. We'll put another one over here. So we're trying to line it up with the ladders so that we have a nice path through the ship here. Nice and central. We'll try to use some overlays here as well. Like how long will it take these guys to get ammunition? If we were to use basic corridors, how long would it take you to get ammo? One second. That's not bad. We can make do with that. Let's say we had ladders here. How long would it take you to get ammo? Only two seconds. That's not bad. But I'm probably going to double up the ammo, so we're going to get rid of those corridors. Ammo stores over there. Lovely. Don't if I fit it in like that. I can save some space there. You know what? I think I'll do that. It's going to mean this is going to be a lot more explodey. It's also going to be neat and tidy. And I do like me some neat and tidy. Ammo store, it's still all lined up nicely. Okay. And that's also going to make it a lot easier for these guys to get ammunition. Which is nice. Uh, cord of ladder... Over here. 
Place a corridor there for now. Ladders over here. Like that, there we go. Alright, it's slowly coming together, I think, but it looks a bit different than I imagined it, although we're not done yet. We'll make it look pretty eventually. I'm probably gonna do most of the building off camera, actually. Like I do with From the Depths and stuff. Because I have a big plan here. It's gonna be a big ship. It's gonna have a lot of firepower as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Next episode, we'll show you what the, uh, what the design will be. But until then, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, perhaps a comment down below as well. Really helps with a new series, and I really do appreciate it, always. If you want to see more airships, you might want to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get notified when new videos go up. Anyway, until next time, have a good one, folks.